action? Yeah. Y'all don't know how I get that. Oh. You want me to light that fire over there? All right, I got you. monumental for so many reasons besides the big win. He lives in Utah now. His dad was there. His friend Chelsea was there. His sister was there. Stevie was there. Everyone's at the bottom. I know what that's like to win with your people around. That's a feeling he'll never forget. Um, he probably doesn't know now, but like 10 years he'll be looking back on like, that was like one of the best days of my career, man. <laughs> like JJ was saying that to me too about how was, you know, these are the moments that I'm going to remember, you know, being on the podium and things. And, and I understand that, but like for me, like, there's so much I want to do in snowboarding. You know, there's so many contests I want to do well, and there's so many things I want to do that I just always am trying to get a step ahead, keep on moving forward. And, you know, there's, I've also believed, you know, the will has got to be greater than the skill. And so I'm always just want to be working on getting better because I know snowboarding can be taken away from me in the blink of an eye. And, you know, if that happens, I want to look back and know that I did everything possible to make the most of the gift that I was blessed with. You know, Oslo's been super fun. I've never been to Oslo before and it's cool. I mean, Scandinavia is just cool in general. I mean, Norway's produced great winter athletes. I feel like that's kind of their uh, season is winter time. I think people are super hyped to have the world championships here and that makes riding so much better when you got a good, you know, crew of people there cheering for any rider and, you know, a good turnout and spectators, it's, it makes riding a lot more fun. How expensive is it here? Oh, it's so expensive. It's retarded here. expensive. He got a he got a, a soup and a coffee mug and uh, a beer for how much was it? Twenty six bucks downstairs. <laughs> it's so crazy. I haven't been I haven't been to Norway in like six years. Yeah, you think you're balling until you come to Norway. Alright, like, okay. I like staying in the Riders Hotel just because you go down to breakfast, you're gonna see friends. You go down to the bar, you're gonna see friends. You go to the lobby, you're gonna see friends. You walk the hallway, you see friends. You know, if anybody's in a bind, you got a friend there, a homie there, a family member there. We're pretty much all family. You know, to help you out. Like, I didn't have my bags, and you know, I borrowed stuff from Greg, I borrowed stuff from Mason, I borrowed stuff from Mark McMorris. And it's like, you know, this is the kind of stuff that you're, I'm gonna remember when you're older is like, you know, traveling the world with your, some of your best friends. Why you teaching me, hey? I feel good. I got all hypey, hyphy last night though. I was like watching these music videos of songs I listen to when I snowboard and I got even more stoked about snowboarding today. Hey! There's a war going on inside. Hey, body mind. Is it the devil who defined that divine line? This pipe's not the longest one we've ridden. I think I'm only gonna probably end up getting four hits when I start doubling everything up. Um, and it's a little flatter, but it's pretty good shape. It's firm, which is nice because it's not getting ripped up. But uh, a little gusty today, so I think I might just keep it mellow and save it for tomorrow. But you ain't worthy to represent. What do you do when the light are your own race? So act prejudice against you and discriminate. Stop it. I know what you're trying to do right now. Yeah, I'm trying to get in my head. So he does it <laughs> every time. Always tells me not to do enough tricks. <laughs> Luckily, I've got to compete today. I, don't know, I think like Mug Chuck, Nine, Air, Sev, Cab Dub. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I see you warming it up. I was kind of thinking about doing a Cab Dub today, but I don't really know. I like this whole wind thing about really stepping me out. Mm -hmm. If you want, you could take my jacket and take my run from it. 
That would be cool. Then you could do a cab dub all you want. <laughs> so uh, I got right into practice and it felt good, man. The pipe was really good. It was only four hits, so it was a little shorter than what, we're, what we were used to. Um, you know, most pipes we've been riding have been five to six hits. But uh, it was good. I mean, the snow was good. It wasn't too soft. It wasn't too hard. The lighting they did was great. They had a palma lift right next to the pipe, which was which was sick because, you know, hiking kind of sucks after a while. But uh, it was fun, man. I just had fun riding that pipe, and everyone was riding super well. <laughs> we out. The was super sick to watch. I mean, that venue they had it in was amazing. It was a beautiful building, and I thought it looked so sick. People were sending it. I mean, watching Terry ride, you know, it's kind of, anytime you watch him ride, you just try to take notes on how to snowboard, but he still has it. Oh my God. Jack, like, He's next. He makes me nervous. <laughs> Luke's so funny. I mean, you can really see, you know, the relationship Jack and Luke have. And, you know, if Luke's riding, Jack's 110% supportive. And Jack's riding, Luke's 110% supportive. Send it! Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love you. You look smooth, yeah. dude. Only three meters away yeah. from the watch. That's <laughs> only What's three so meters. What's rad about this watch, anyway? 50 G. Right no one's got it. Oh my gosh. Put it on. Double reach. Double cross grab. Oh. Quarter pipe is so dangerous. <laughs> Double Chuck was sick. I didn't even know he had that. I don't even know if he knew he had that, but uh, I've known Kimmy for a long time, and he uh, re retired from half five competition right before the Olympics. You know, he, he gave it a go, but I don't know. Maybe that's going to be a comeback for him. Yeah, Kimmy! I know him. You know, I've known Olivier forever too, because you know, when back when he was a little. Just a little grom on Burton, and you know, he's always had a proper McTwist, and it's cool to see him just do a massive one on a quarter pipe because I think that's a really fun trick to watch. It's just a massive, proper McTwist. I felt bad for Jack because I think Jack got beat by like seven centimeters, but um, Olivier rode well, Kim Hansen rode well, Jack obviously rode really well. Um, it, was, it was fun to watch, and I think people were stoked to be there and check it out. That's it, World Snowboarding Championship quarter pipe. It's freezing, but uh, people want bigs. Uh, it was a pretty good contest. This is the first quarter pipe contest I've seen in a really long time, so it was fun. The arena's sick, and um, I think everyone walked out pretty healthy, so it's a good day. It's definitely hard to see. Once you get halfway down the pipe, you kind of just guy in the sky. iPod definitely pushes me to ride better and better, I mean, because he's on point, and I don't go to a contest and you know, I'm not going to be the one who's claiming because I got third place. Hey. 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 Hey.